Hi guys. How are you? I'm going to give it all of like 2.5 seconds to notify you that I'm on and that I'm live. I actually just went live in my free group. Um, it's a health and wellness group. So if you're not a part of it, if you are a lady and you're not a part of there, I would love for you to join. It's called Club Right Side. Um, so hang on just a second. I'm just trying to share the video. Happy Friday. What's going on? Um, it's a three-day weekend for my American friends here. Um, if you're on, I need to see some hearts pop up. I need you to tell me that you're live with me. If you are watching the replay, you could put hashtag replay so I know what time is best for you to watch. Shauna, such a pretty room. Thank you. You can see Leilani's artwork. Those were Father's Day presents. That one says, Owl, always love you, and it's her feet with an owl. And then that one is, you are my super daddy, I think. Yeah. Oh, it says superhero, but she calls it super daddy because it looks like her daddy. Um, so anyway, hello everyone. Comment when you're watching. Tell me that you're here. And again, if you're on a replay, do hashtag replay so I know what time is best for you. And feel free to hit the share button so that all your friends can talk about it. But I'm sure you popped on because you saw that it said goals are stupid, said no one ever. Because, hello Loretta Murray. Happy Friday to you. <laughs> um... Okay, so it's the first of the month, which, hi, Laura, you love owls too, I know. <laughs> Susan, thanks for hopping on. So it's the first of the month, and everything that pops to mind when it's the first of the month, number one is Bone Thugs and Harmony. Hello, they have that song, because it's the first of the month. Um, but number two, besides bills being due, is that Shauna I love them I keep my kids artwork on my bedroom wall too even though now they're teenagers they love it oh that's so special I have a feeling that's the the way we're gonna end up going if we don't move in a house that's big enough for a artwork room that's the way we're going oh Leilani you must have heard I was on live and you wanted to join <laughs> <laughs> you little sneak hey Katie okay so I have to get back on topic because this these kids are so frustrating. Pull your strap up, Leilani. Pull your strap up. Oh, your brother followed you down. See, you sneak away to your bedroom to have a little peace and quiet, and then they follow you. Hi, Heather. Okay. So at the beginning of every month, we need to sit down and think about our goals for the month. We need to really be thinking about, um, hey, Open your mouth and show them your special tooth. Okay. Over here. Up. Oh, higher. This way. <gasps> Look at it. It's like a star. Can you see it? Open. Woo! Look at that pretty tooth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Scooch now. <laughs> okay, back on topic. So we need to be thinking about um, our goals for the month because I think of it like a road trip. Like unless you're intentionally going somewhere without like an end goal in mind, um, you need to know where you're going, what directions you're doing. Hey, Pam, thanks for hopping on, you guys. Has anyone shared this video yet? I would love to see some new faces on these videos, by the way. Side note. So if there's an option to share it, feel free to do that. Um, anyway, also think of it like a recipe. You wouldn't try to bake a cake just with the ingredients that you have and flip them all together and pray that you're German chocolate cake comes out perfect, right? Like you have to have steps. You have to have a destination. You have to have a journey. You have to have, oh, my hair is stuck in my armpit. <laughs> you have to know what's going on, right? So a lot of times people will plan 
um, out their New Year's resolutions. And hi, Barb. And those are great. I'm not saying New Year's resolutions aren't great. But the problem with those is you, you set them in January. You think about them for a few weeks. And then you forget about them until next year when you're sitting there and it's December. And you're like, okay, New Year's is right around the corner. I need to be thinking about my resolutions. Well, actually, I had resolutions. I guess I better get to work. It doesn't work like that. You can't do that. You can't say, I'm going to lose 70 pounds this year. And by the time November rolls around, be like, oh, I got, I got to hustle because January 1st is coming and I need to hit my resolutions by then. No, you can't do that. You have to scale it down. You have to think on a smaller level. You have to um, break it down so that you're not overwhelmed. Because I know for me, if I were to tell myself I had 70 pounds to lose, which by the way, I do ish, maybe, I don't know. I have 70 pounds until I'm at my pre, no, pre baby weight. I was in the one thirties when I got married and I would love to get there again. And that's about 70 ish pounds. Not going to lie. Hi, Lori Ann. Um, so anyway, you didn't need to know all that information. I just offered it. I volunteered it to you. So there you go. Judge what you want. Um, Look, you got me all sidetracked. So anyway, you have to break it down. If you tell yourself you have a big goal or any kind of goal, you have to know what needs to be done to accomplish it. And that goes with any kind of goal in life. It can be um, to earn enough money to buy a house. It could be to get into a new car. It could be to find a new job, to get back into school. Um, it can be to start a family. It could be anything. But you have to be realistic when you're thinking about what needs to be done in order to get there. You have to have a plan. And as much as I love spontaneity and winging it, I still have goals and I still have plans in place because it's the realistic approach. If you just, like I used the example already, wait till November to start working on your January, the past January's goals, you're going to come up short and you're going to be discouraged because you're not going to have hit what you wanted to hit, right? So we want to avoid getting discouraged. We want to avoid being upset. We want to avoid just throwing in the towel and avoiding the goals altogether. So I want you guys to be thinking about your action steps. Think of a goal and work your way backwards. Um, the easiest way to do it is to think of it month to month. Don't do a whole year. Think of it month to month. And if you need to break it down further, do it weekly if you want. So what I did, um, I created a printable for you guys, this little worksheet. And it just says my goals for. And on the line, you can put the time frame that you're thinking of. So if you're doing it for the month, you could put September of 2017. And print out 12 of these. Do this for the year. Every month on the 1st, write out your goals. I have personal goals listed and I have professional goals. And even though our professional lives directly um, affect our personal lives, we still have to separate them. So if you're married or you're dating somebody or maybe you want to date somebody, put a date night on there. Put um, something you want to do with your kids. Maybe there's a new museum in the area you want to go to and you want to check it out. Put it there. Write it down. If you have a job that you want to, um, not a job, but maybe like an advancement or a raise or something. I don't know. I've been out of the workforce for a while. I can't think offhand of like professional goals, but it has to be directly related to you. Um, for me personally, I have some very big professional goals, things that I'm not ready to share with you guys yet, but those announcements and those details are coming very very soon those are going to get written on here as soon as i get off of this call i just needed a blank one to show you so i didn't give anything away um so what i want you to do is think about what you can have as a goal there's plenty of room to brainstorm but don't fill this box up with fifty thousand things keep it simple be realistic be simple to the point um, and like I said, start with your end goal and then work your way backwards. Don't get 
confused, not confused, but don't get overwhelmed or discouraged by it. It's not meant to be that way at all. So I'm going to give you guys a link so you can print one of these out yourself. Um, there's no charge. It's free. I just created it. I thought it would be something that you could use. Um, and then keep it. You guys are going to love looking back and seeing if you achieved it or not. Or not. You're going to love being able to check it off. And then you can print out the back to do some mapping, um, goal mapping. Um, if you need help with action steps or with goal crushing, I would be more than happy to talk with you and help you figure that out. That's something that I love to do. It's part of why I coach because I love helping other people. Um, hey, Jennifer and Renee, thanks for hopping on. Oh, lovely Leilani has just let her little hurricane brother in. Wonderful. See, you go in your room with the door shut. The problem was I didn't lock it. That's what's happening here. I should have locked my door. So. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I want you guys to start thinking about your goals from here on out. No more. Ow. No more willy-nilly. Go get your dad. No more willy-nilly. No more flying by the seat of your pants. When it comes to goals, you are. Get in here and get them. Daddy to the rescue. Hey, Carol. Leilani, you get out too because you started this. That look is for Daddy. A mother never has alone time. I can't even go potty by myself. I always have company. They're always there. They never leave. They never leave. I love them very much. Don't get me wrong. So anyway, um, that totally threw me off of what I was saying. I had a flow. I had my, my, my brain was going with what I wanted to say. Who said the wow face? What are you wowing? Anyway, I've, I've completely lost the rest of what I was saying. It was probably over anyway. But you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for hopping on. Something that I want to ask you guys to do, as soon as this video ends, it's going to ask you if you want to turn on notifications and if you want to follow me. And you want to say yes to both of those because every time I go live, it is going to notify you. If you have watched my videos in the past and all of a sudden you haven't noticed them anymore, it's probably the new algorithms with Facebook and them not telling you that I'm live because if you're not actively engaging with me and commenting on my videos, chances are they have dropped you off of the notification list. So something that you can do on my profile, if you go up to the top where it says following, you could go to see first and that way when you're scrolling, whenever I'm live, it's always there and always on. So if you think um, goals are stupid, I hope that you now have a completely different frame of mind. Once this video is uploaded and ready to go, I will um, update the description and put the link for you. And like I said, if you're watching the replay, I hope you listened and put hashtag replay so that I know what time you watched and what is a good time to go live so that I don't miss you. And for everybody that hopped on live with me, thank you so much. That was a lot of fun to have all of you on here with me. And I hope that you were able to share. I don't know if they took away the button anymore, but there used to be a button um, down there right here where you could click share and put it on your timeline. So I hope you were able to see that. And um, I hope you guys have a great holiday weekend. And to my Canadian friends and friends from afar, I hope you have a great weekend also. So thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your night. If you have any questions about setting goals or don't know where to start, or you're discouraged and you don't even know what a good goal is, let's chat about it. That's what I'm here for. I coach. Let me coach you. And if you're not in Club Right Side yet, go request to join. Love you guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.